A big mountain. A bunch of dwarves. Ale and mushrooms. Is this dwarf fortress? Nope. We're going medieval. Welcome to going medieval where we're gonna build the kingdom under the mountain with our um dwarves. <laughs> So first, we need to ensure a proper entrance to our mountain. The mountain is giant, but it's gonna take a long time for us to mine in there, to relative safety. We will be lacking food until then, we will be lacking protection, but hopefully, we can survive. And if you'd like to become one of our dwarves, be named one of these guys, well, let me know in the comments down below, and I will be renaming everybody in the next episode. Because who wouldn't want to be part of a crew that just sleeps on the ground in piles of dirt. And you love to see this pathing when they run up here to go sleep right there. Look at that! You know, you couldn't sleep over here, why wouldn't you run all the way around to go sleep over here? All that's amazing! Clearly, Kenshi pathing strikes again. Hopefully by the time this day is through though, we'll have some bed beds in here, and as our first Initial bedroom. Ah yeah, time for some leisure. Just enjoying a game of backgammon while somebody else produces sausages over here. Why wouldn't you be playing backgammon where you could actually build beds instead? Well, at least one person gets to sleep on a bed tonight. <laughs> Although, I don't know how Alicia can sleep while well, everybody just hammers around them. At last, the bedroom is complete. Look at this beauty. I would totally want to sleep over here, on a cold, hard ground, on a hay sleeping spot. Who wouldn't want that? And on day three, they can finally sleep together. Look at them. Ah, I mean, most of them are missing their bed a bit. Joffrey is sleeping inside the mountain, but you know what? He, he's a dwarf, so it's all good. Oh, damn, it's a tropical thunderstorm right now. Good thing we're all nice and indoors, right? Uh, why are you going outside in this rain? I know you want to eat, but this is too much. And I'm aware that this is all deteriorating out here. Uh, that's fine. We will move all of these indoors at some point, one day. And now we can start breeding. Jeffrey is gonna start producing some research for us. And, uh... We are mining deeper into the mountain. We're gonna go downstairs now. So for now, this is our entrance to the mine. But my goal for eventually, what I wanna do is create the only entrance on top of this mountain. This would be our entrance and then we'll be going down all the way down here. So anybody that would want to attack us, will have to come up the mountain, at which point we'll have a tower up here and just shoot them from the tower and this is gonna be the entrance. Of course, we'll have to be afraid of trebuchets, because so far, I've not really seen anything that can deal with trebuchets, because even if you go attack them before you even get to the trebuchets, uh, they'll destroy some of your stuff. Now, even the, the toughest build, which is out from bricks, has like 800 hit points. This one has 300, but that one has 800. In uh, my Twitch playthrough, that gets destroyed by like two hits from a trebuchet. So enemies come with three trebuchets, yeah, it's all it's all done. So digging digging underneath the mountain, still probably the safest way to do this. As we're probably gonna get attacked soon, I wanted to prepare some defenses, basically making sure that this is the only access to our base. So anybody that comes to us will have to run down here and then up this ramp and then up this ramp. At which point, hopefully we'll be able to stand here and shoot at them. Although, if they come here with their own ranged weapons, we have no protection for ourselves right now. So we probably should try fixing that, I guess. Also, we can't really do much uh, agricultural stuff out here, so what I'm trying to do is just create a couple of tiny patches where we're gonna be growing some cabbages and carrots, so hopefully we can survive the winter. Uh, eventually, we'll have to solve that somehow, some way. I'll ask how that's gonna happen, I'm not quite sure yet. And here we go, there is Cudbird who has been lost but now has been found and if we accept Cudbird Herbert, <laughs> who is 200 centimeters tall, 130 kilos, uh, there's gonna be somebody attacking us, a couple of forest bandits, he's a good smith, smart guy, okay carpenter, we will definitely help you, Cudbird. There he is, our lost Cudbird. Uh, we don't really have a weapon for you, sir. I'm sorry about that, uh, but, you know, you're a tall boy. I'm sure you're gonna find your way in this world. So this screwed us up. I wanted to go deeper over here and build. Alas, 
there's this limestone piles that my people can't pick up so <laughs> we, we can't build because we can't pick it up and then you can't build because you can't pick it up what the hell game come on that's just obnoxious. There's no way for us to get down there. How would we ever pick it up? You know, you mine it, it falls down there. What do you think is gonna happen? Also, we do have some Merlins over here now. If anybody attacks us, hopefully we can stand here. Get a bit protected while we shoot at them down there. Although I think the first enemies that are coming are all gonna be just melee boys. So hopefully that's not gonna be too bad. But I guess we'll see. Now, Mogota, do this properly, please. We will take all of those garbage out of here before you manage to dig this out, hopefully. And then nothing is going to fall into the pit. I, at least I hope so. There you go. They have taken everything away. Good. And so they come. The violent extortionists. So violent, yet also so naked. <laughs> so we have the sweat trick. We have Kip, Edmund, and Godser. They're coming after us. These guys don't really have any armor. They have melee weapons while we have range. So hopefully we can deal with that a bit. Hopefully. They'll probably bust through. But hopefully we can slay some of them before they can bust through. Our defenses right now are terrible. But hey. And so they charge. So they're coming from this side. Which annoys me. Because that offers them a bit of protection. Are you guys gonna start shooting them? There you go. Yeah, I don't like that. Ooh, but that was amazing snipe. Good job, boys. Oh, that guy got destroyed as well. Shoot Kip. He's got no armor. He's just a naked boy. Oh, Kip actually stepped on a trap. Come on, snipe one more before they go. Hey, done it. Wilhelm has done the most damage. Easy. Kip's gonna run, but that's not really gonna work out for you, Kip. Oh, no. Oh, no. Get him, boys. Easy money. And since Cudbert is a big dwarf, we gave him this bardish. I don't know how useful it's gonna be, but he looks cool at least. Since this has quite a big uh, amount of greenery, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna wall this off and protect it. I want this to be ours, and I don't want enemies running through here because then we can't shoot them from up here. I want them to come through here so we can already see them down here. Go get him, Wilhelm. Go get him, buddy. Aw, you missed the wolf, man! How can you miss a wolf? You're like our best sniper. Uh, I guess we're gonna be... I guess we're gonna be starving this time around, because he's trying to shoot up. You're supposed to go higher than the wolf and then shoot down. We finally got the stairs down, so I'm guessing we're just, uh, have like a big giant hallway over here. Three wide? Why not? It's gonna be like our main hallway. What, what are you doing? What, what are you doing, buddy? Oh, come on. Just run away. <laughs> wolves after you. Wolves getting you, buddy. Not gonna lie, this wolf is pretty terrible at attacking our boys. But you know what? How about now? Go oh, get that big old bad wolf. He's gonna get eaten. Good job, boys. We got dinner. And I guess we also have a dinner over here. Forest bandit. Naked. Yeah. Why not put that in here? Why not? Yes, Jeffrey. Butcher that. Butcher that wolf. We're gonna eat well today. Because we're kind of running out of food. Maybe we should have eaten these humans. But you know what? Burning them is just gonna be fine. Also, we now have a way to produce smoked meat. And we shall do that forever if you have meat smoke it because that way it's not gonna spoil as fast and we do have meat over here look at all these raw meat piles go no don't eat the raw meat come on boys jeffrey just just cook it for them man what are you doing we have plenty of meat well it's debatable but we, we've got meat you're just not using it dude there you go you got this you use your knife you smack the stew and it happens just the way we like it see people love the roasted meat piles it's their favorite looks like we have hunted some more rabbits which is good for us the smokehouse isn't working right now still waiting for resources which is not the best and somebody's starving where are you oh wilhelm come on 
You see, they do this, right? And they just look at each other and miss each other, which is great. Yeah, I, I love that. It's amazing. Go home, dude. Lesson learned. Don't hunt the fucking wolves because people just get stuck. Lesson learned. Shoot that wolfie. Stab that wolfie. And, well, we we eat well tomorrow. I also decided where we're gonna have, like, our kitchen and the great hall and storage for our meals. This is gonna be all over here, close to the entrance, or, well, the current entrance. This right here is gonna be our kitchen, and then they can store the food in here. Yes, the kitchen is pretty small, the food storage is slightly bigger. And this is gonna be the great hall. I haven't fully designated where I want to mine it, because I'm gonna mine like this, then we can put in the structural supports and then we can mine the rest of it but all of that we are gonna do in the next episode this one we survived so far and that's important food is still an issue right now that's why we're hunting uh we're gonna have our first intake of food soon look the cabbage is ripe so that is great to know we'll be getting cabbages in soon so that means food Unfortunately, of course, we still have all of this outside in the rain where it just goes bad. But, you know, until we can actually dig this out properly, we're gonna have a kingdom under the mountain just outside in the rain. But that's, that's fine. Sure, we're gonna lose some resources that way. It's not the worst. We can survive that. We can replenish it later. Surely. One day. Maybe. As I said earlier at the start, if you want to be one of these guys, just let me know in the comments down below, and I'm going to be renaming them all. And if you prefer less edited uh, versions of this game, I am streaming uh, streaming it on Twitch right now. Uh, every day, Monday to Friday from 1pm to 4pm CEST, that is Central European Summertime, so you can check me out there on Twitch.tv. Slash Coco Place MB. Also, all of those VODs go to my second YouTube channel, Coco Chills MB. So, if you missed all of that, there's like 15 hours of going medieval content on that second channel. You can go check it out if you if you want to see that. But unless you know, if you don't want to, this is this is gonna be more edited stuff, and uh, I guess you guys all prefer that. For now, though. Thank you for chilling with me. Next episode, we will dig out the Great Hall. We will make this kingdom under the mountain great again. And I hope I'll see you there.